This video I'm going to share with you how to email reports from QuickBooks Online to anybody using the custom reports section. All right, so first of all, you've got to have in QuickBooks Online one or more custom reports for this to work. Now to, to get a custom report, you'll have to start off on the standard report, run a report that you like, and then from here go to customize and this would allow us to save custom, you know, do, do what you need, want to do here with the dates and all that once that's been done save customization you give it a name I'll call it my custom report and save okay so now I look at the custom reports and it shows what I just did there, my custom report, and so forth. Okay, so once you have that, you'll see an email schedule right here. So now what we need to do is take the first report that you want to be part of the email. Maybe an email is going out every month, every week, you could do, even do it every day. We need to edit that so that we can create a report group. Okay, this is my first group, so important you click report group. I'm just going to call my, my group here to be emailed to management. All right, I can ignore that error there. That's just saying if we need to set these reports in a certain group here. So we're good, okay. Save. Okay, so down below we've got our to be emailed management here. I'm going to take my another report here. Let's go ahead and find one here. Let's go with um, budget remaining for Eagles Wings. I like to have this one as well. Okay, so I've, I've ran it. I like it. I pay attention to the date range and then I can go over to the budget, go over to the side, edit and move that inside the report here. Okay, so now I've got two reports here, okay, that I've got here. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna now cl click to edit the group and I'm gonna create a schedule. Okay, so when I have the schedule, here are our choices daily weekly monthly twice a month let's assume I want to do this monthly on the fifth of every month forever I mean I can have it none or end after a certain number of occurrences so here's where I put in my email just a little example there okay and they will all go out as PDFs unless you prefer Excel then you could click attach the report as an Excel file right there okay so important to realize that it will go out probably around two or three o'clock in the morning uh, when these schedule is going to hit the calendar in the future um, but that's it now once you have everything aligned up and good to go you could change the schedule if you needed to. All right now the schedule is every month. I could click edit and change that. Maybe I want it to be every week. You know all that good stuff there. Just to explore. You know just explore and test out here. So people that don't even have access to QuickBooks could be inside this email here, which is very powerful. So you could get stuff out of QuickBooks. <clears throat> Another tip is you could set up the general ledger to be emailed to yourself um, weekly. And, and in, a, in a sense, that would actually give you a backup opportunity to have the whole general ledger um, just, just being sent out in the event that you got locked out of QuickBooks for a significant amount of time. That general ledger might be handy to go back and see what the data is. So. Hey everybody, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments if you liked the video. And thank you, have a good day.